Today, I want to talk to you about a principle that I have in my book, The Happiest, which it has 30 happy habits for living your happiest life. Today, we're going to talk about tip number 14, which is ask yourself the question, should I be frustrated or can I be flexible? I need to go back and tell you a, a quick story. I went to go get my hair done at my hairdresser and I had gone to her for many, many years. And I showed up at my allotted and scheduled time with very little wiggle room because I needed to go get my kids and do a couple of other things for work in the afternoon. So I showed up for my time and about a half an hour after my time, so I've waited 30 minutes in the waiting room, she comes back and says, I'll be with you in just a minute. And at that point, I know that there is no way that my hair can actually get done in time. And so I already know that I'm going to get the color done. I'll probably get the cut done, but she's probably not going to have time to do my hair. And I'm just going to have to leave with wet hair. She takes me back. She doesn't say anything like, well, this is why I was behind. She just says, thanks for waiting. And then she gets started on my hair. And while she leaves my hair in foil under the heater, she actually leaves me for about 45 minutes. And in that time, does another haircut and a couple of other things. And I start to get frustrated. And I was worried about my time. I was worried about my hair. I don't have great hair to begin with. This was long before I just bought my hair and thought it was great. And I was worried that my hair was getting bleached right off and it was going to be ruined forever. And I didn't know how to go find her. I didn't know if I should leave or what I should do. But she came back to me after um, 45 minutes and her next person was in the waiting room waiting for me. So I still have not had my hair cut. I still, there's, I haven't even had the opportunity. I hadn't been washed out yet. And so I got back into the chair and after doing a lot of work, I had this, this thought that came into my head. You could be frustrated, but what if you could be flexible? And it changed everything for me. I looked at her in the eyes and I said, Hey, are you okay? And she, at that moment, decided to stop being professional. And she's just like, I've been behind all day. There's been a few is issues here at the salon I had to take care of. And I'm really sorry. And I feel so bad. And I didn't mean to do this to you. But for a moment, instead of just thinking about myself, I got to see her as a human. And then I was able to say, I am happy to be your most flexible customer today. Wash me out. And I can come back later. And you can cut and style and we can work it out later. And she's like, no, 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 it's okay. I'll just let her know that we're going to be behind. And I said, what time was her appointment? And it was already minutes past her appointment too. And I said, well, what's your last appointment of the day? Does it work for me to come back? And she said, actually, that would be really great. So I had the opportunity to choose flexibility over frustration and it changed everything for me. Instead of feeling like I was entitled to something or instead of feeling, which I kind of was entitled to my time, instead of feeling like I was entitled to something, I chose to see this as a relationship rather than a one-sided situation. And I have to think about that all the time. When I'm in a busy line at a grocery store and I'm running behind and the people in front of me are going slow or the cashier is going slow, I could be frustrated, but what would happen if I chose flexibility? Now, that also means I have to make a lot of other choices leading up to that instance in order for flexibility to be an option. If I'm last minute all the time, or if I'm running behind, or if I'm expecting people to go faster just because I need them to, then that's also not healthy for me because I'm putting unhealthy expectations on the people, especially strangers around me. I know this is a happiest principle, and I know this is a way that you can live on the bright side because if you give yourself opportunities to be flexible to yourself and others, you'll actually have greater joy and satisfaction. If you're focused on entitlement and the things that you think you need or deserve, then you're focused purely on your own selfish needs rather than the humans that are around you as well. But also you're putting unrealistic expectations in a world that has a number of different challenges and changes and any one thing can send people into a different direction than they plan. Of course she didn't plan to be behind. Of course she didn't mean to make my day tricky but I could choose to preserve a relationship and also be in a healthier space for my own emotions than to show up in a way that frustration would matter. I am surprised when I hear people of high performance and committed to growth and goals that they choose to be mean to the wait staff 
or they yell and are frustrated to a cashier who rings something in wrong. I don't think that's who we can be as high performing humans. I think we have to be willing to be kind, to be flexible, but again, not just for them, but for our own emotions. Why is it good to call and yell at someone on the phone if an order is wrong? Instead of just saying, hey, could you help me out with, out with this? I know it's not your fault, but would love to be able to find a solution. Even when we are frustrated, we can choose to be flexible with the people who are on the phone. That doesn't mean that you have to be a doormat and it doesn't mean that people are people you allow people to walk all over you, but it means that you are in control of how you show up so that you can be an elevated human to have elevated conversations, but also so that your own emotional wellness isn't caught up in in a feeling that you don't want to feel. Do you want to feel frustrated? Or do you want to feel flexible and open and, and willing to find peace and the path to opportunities that will bring you happiness and satisfaction? Often flexibility will also help you increase your relationships and connections with others, but it will give you permission to be flexible to others as well. Sometimes they might need that grace. Sometimes they might need you to be flexible for them, which also provides ways for you to grow and build relationships. Well, this is just a simple part of living your happiest life and being committed to growing and building who and becoming who you want to become it actually is an important part because so much of our interactions involve other humans who are imperfect and doing the very best that they can because I truly believe that. So where can you be flexible? What relationships can you add a little bit more ease and peace to for your own emotional wellness and for the emotional wellness of others? I'm cheering you on and living your happiest life. Don't just look on the bright side, live there.